Hello folks and welcome to, well, a tutorial on how to set up Flycast uh, for Fightcade. This is Flycast GGPO version, it's not the lay version, so bear that in mind. Okay, so, first off, the first thing you, you need to do is of course get the Fightcade emulator which you can find on this uh, by typing um by typing uh, uh fight kate even though i typed fright <laughs> so you open the first link and on this you have windows version mac os version ubuntu aka linux version let me just check something okay and all of these work Actually, not all of these, but Linux and Windows like work for now. After you, after you download it, you extract it to wherever you want. After it's extracted, it should look something like this. Note, I have a Linux version on my end, so there's that. So, uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm gonna go and open emulator, Flycast. First thing you need to do, if you are running, let's say, if you're running a Naomi game or an Thomas Wave game, the thing that you need is this. This is uh, this is a link that I will be um, supplying in the, in the description of the video. So don't worry about that. This is what you need: the Naomi BIOS and the Thomas Wave BIOS. You download these. And you put them into the data folder. Let me just show you where it is. So it's it's in um, okay. So after you open the Flycade uh, folder, you have emulator, Flycast, data folder. So because I already put mine in, I have the AV BIOS. That's for the Atomos Wave games, and the Naomi should be here somewhere. If it's not, I'll just put it. But um, to be fair, uh, uh, I didn't have any issues with the Naomi. So if it requires the BIOS, you can always put it here. I didn't have any need to put it here, unfortunately. In terms of the Dreamcast games, some don't, some do. Depends. Oh, yeah, here is the Naomi zip. All right. So after that is done, next up. What you do is basically put your raw, uh, in order for, if you want to run a game, you just go to either one of these ROM sets. All of them work. Uh, so you have the Naomi, the Atomos Wave, the Dreamcast, all of those. You have them in a form of direct download or, or torrent. Whatever, whatever works for you. Is available with the exception of the Dreamcast. Dreamcast doesn't have torrents; it only has direct downloads. If you want a more automated uh, way to download stuff and don't want to bother with this, um, you have the FC2 JSON pack. The way you do this is it downloads in a RAR file, you extract it, and you put it into the emulator folder. So basically, let's see basically here inside of this folder so you extract it here um unfortunately for uh, linux it hasn't worked for me so i'm not using the fc2 json method so what i'm going to showcase is the uh, roms you know basic rom setup so you uh, whatever rom you download whatever rom you download you put it into Flycade ROMs, Flycast ROMs, and you put it here. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be showcasing Soul Calibur Dreamcast version. It uses the CHD files, uh, file, uh, which is the recommended file. But yes. Um, with me, a Darkest will be testing the online. So you go into, you open Fightcade, log in, and you go into, um, into the, lo the lobby. In this case, I'm just 
type I will I typed soul as in and we have soul caliber here soul caliber USA Dreamcast so I'm going into it again just to showcase it and the way you challenge is right click challenge and I'm gonna be challenging darkest all right okay because my connection isn't very stable, I'm putting the delay to two. You can put it to whatever one you think is good. All right. And I'm going to increase it. Now, just to make sure everything is good. Yes. It's recording. All right. Picking Maxi. And you can see the uh, the FPS counter on the bottom, on the bottom left. This is to showcase how it runs. Afterwards, I'll show you the details of how to run it better. Yeah. I'm not that good at this game, to be honest. We also do uh, weekly tournaments on on our Discord. So if anyone is interested, I'll be posting the Discord link. And actually, this week we're going to do a CVS2 tournament. So, yeah, there's that. All right, and darkest one by three round, by match one. So yeah, that's basically of how it runs. Now, if you wanna set up certain things, which I would suggest right now that you do, go into test game and you, you have settings here, right? Um, I would first suggest you go to controls and because I have a keyboard, I'm playing on keyboard. I'll map. Uh, I will show the maps for the keyboard. If you're on uh, gamepad, you have options here: micro tech, USB, which is my gamepad, default mouse, whatever. So going into keyboard, and basically here's how it here's how it works. You have two types of controls: the Dreamcast and the arcade controls. Uh, the most common questions and issues people have are what button does what. So the A, B, and X are usually low, mid, and heavy punch. The Y, C, and D are low, mid, and heavy kick. I have no idea what this Z is. Never really used it. Uh, it start is basically the same thing as as in other stuff. So yeah, and you have like shortcuts for other stuff if you need them. Um. That's for the Dreamcast uh, controls. Uh, arcade is more or less the same thing. So in terms of arcade, it's button one, two, and three, low, mid, and heavy punch. Uh, button four, five, and six are low, mid, and heavy kick. Seven and eight, I'd have never used them, so wouldn't know. Uh, in this case, you would, you would need the coin and star button as well, but yeah, everything else is self-explanatory. So yeah, after you're done with that, I would suggest you go into the video and this only applies, this only applies to Thomas Wave games, nothing else. Make sure that per pixel is ticked and that you either use OpenGL or Vulkan. Now, because I, I am on Linux, I don't have the option for DirectX, but I think DirectX is like default at the start. Could be wrong, but yeah. Uh, in, 
the reason why per pixel is ticked is so that you know you avoid uh, glitches and anything like that so play around with this see see what works the best because uh, apparently autonomous wave games have some visual glitches to them which the team is working on resolving on resolving any issues with flycast as soon as they can but yeah aside from that the only other thing that i would suggest you do if you can't run the game in test mode by some stretch of the miracle that you couldn't that you can't run it here's what you do uh you open fight gate folder emulator flycast and where it says mu.cfg file you delete this deleting this resets the setting basically and it should and, and it should uh run it in offline mode so yeah with that said that's basically for me and the tutorial the links will be posted in the video both the discord and the resource ones so Thanks for Darkest for helping me out um, with this for the online, and hope that this will be uh, hope that this tutorial will be to your liking. That's it for me. See you at the next video. And then recording.